Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Yvonne. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been on my channel before, thank you so much for coming back. I should start by saying this channel is everything fashion, fashion from high end luxury purchases to, you know, just your regular mall purchases, sales. I love a good sale as much as I love a good luxury piece. So I don't want to limit the channel to be just a luxury channel as a lot of channels focus on. I want it to be everything. I love luxury pieces. I love Chanel, like you see, I'll be sharing, but I also do wear Express, Old Navy, Banana Republic, and all that. So the channel is going to be a lot of fashion at different price points. A little bit of travel we travel a few times a year my husband and i sometimes with the kids motherhood i have four little ones some beauty stuff i do purchase some beauty items i'll share with you some that i find that are working for me if you're interested and just life just chatting about different things in life so if any of that sounds like you please stick around and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for being here Today, I will be talking to you, sharing my haul. It's it's so funny because my very first YouTube channel um, video here was a haul from Las Vegas a little over a year ago. My husband and I took another trip. We'd go there. Honestly, it's it really is like a little getaway for us. It's not very far for us. It's a short trip. We go there just, you know, to just re- for lack of a better word, to reconnect, we go there to relax, away from the kids, away from everything. And we take it easy, we catch a show, we go watch um, something, we go eat, try a restaurant, go to our favorite restaurants. And also, um, we just relax. If the pool is open, we might hang out there for a little bit, or just a, a bar, hang out. We take it easy and we love it. Another thing I do a lot of while I'm there is shopping. And this time was no different. So I'm going to share my purchases with you. It's quite a few. So if you have a cup of coffee, <laughs> it's not crazy amount, I don't think, but it's definitely a few. And I'll start, I'll do, I'll share even the smaller items. It's a luxury haul, but I will include a few non-luxury items that I got in Vegas. So I'll start with the Chanel box and I do have some items in the box that I'll share with you. So the first thing I got is here and you can pretty much see what it is. I don't know if you can see, I'll bring it closer. The first item I wanted to share with you is this that I got. I have been, I saw a I think she she's a I don't want to say she's a beauty blogger but she's definitely a blogger influencer on Instagram and she had this on she shared she said the number she had and her skin color is very similar to mine and I just loved how it looked I said I'm going to give it a try this is the the Chanel the loose powder I don't know if you're familiar with it but I'll just open I'm not going to open the whole thing but you can see a loose powder and I got it in a 40 in a color for a 40 it just when you put it on the lady at the store tried it tested it on me to make sure the color matched and I one side of my face just looked a lot more smooth it's a, it's a loose powder so it just kind of filled in everything it looked really good so I was convinced I mean, I was already convinced when I watched her video on Instagram, the other girl, but after seeing the lady try it on me, I loved it and I got it. So that's the first item I got. The second item I got from Chanel is this. And can you see it? <laughs> and let's open it up. I think they're so well packaged. I open this up for you the second item I got came in here got this out already really cute wrapping they always do such a good job and this is let me show you open it up with you so you can see It 
it's loose in there so it's easy to grab this is what i got this pretty pair of earrings i don't know if you can see it very well let me hold it together i will i should be able to insert a picture of me trying it on in the store or a better picture but yes the star earrings I had texted with my essay saying I was coming in if they had some earrings because I was I had some earrings in mind that I was looking for. They didn't have those. She said that that is one of their, it's a very rare seasonal earring they bring, but she texted me a pic, some pictures of some earrings they had. And I like this, but seeing it in person, I thought it was actually going to be larger, but seeing it in person was not that large. And I actually liked that. I don't mind some large earrings at times, but I, I tend to wear studs more. I'm just wanting to do slightly bigger earrings. So I feel like this is a good medium from in between studs <laughs> to like a larger pair to I thought this was a good size. And I really liked the black and the gold combination. And this is it. I really liked this. I'll bring it closer so you can see. So that is the second item I got from Chanel. And the third item I got from Chanel, let me, is this. I'm not going to open it too much, but I'll just tell you what it is. It's the um, hand cream. I don't know if you've seen these. I'm sure you have. The reason I got this was because I've seen it on a few friends who had it and I just thought the the bottle itself I just thought was so cute the shape of it it's like an oval shape let me see if I can pull it out it's like an oval shape and it's great because it it just it looks like it fits easily here it fits easily in your purse and I like the shape I like of course how just cute and pretty clean how it looks but I wanted to smell it first. I wanted to go test it out, how it felt, how it smells. Sometimes, you know, some hand creams are just too strong. The scent, maybe you don't like the scent. You don't want to go around your hands smelling like a fragrance that you really don't like. So I went ahead and tested it. It felt really good on the hands. And the lady even said that you should have, a, you should get about five washes with this on. I haven't tried it on. But I will try. I will be sure to test it out when I have it on to see after five washes if it you can still feel it there. That's what she said. But it smelled really smells nice. It's it's a really pretty scent. It's very soft, nothing too overpowering. And also, um, the reason I wanted to get this was because I wanted to see if I liked it. I think it would be such a great gift. Like you want to give someone something luxurious. But at the same time, you know, you, you cannot spend all so much money for, especially if you want to give a bunch of people, some friends or some family members, you cannot buy each one of them maybe earrings. I find that this is a great alternative for something luxurious, but at the same time, um, the price point is not bad. So I was impressed with it. I got this. So that is the other item I got from Chanel and I got something in a bigger, in a bigger box. This, this one, I was not prepared to buy this. I went into the store with earrings in mind. That's what I went in with earrings and the beauty items, the powder and also the hand cream. Those are some of the things I had in mind. A bag was not it, but my essay, she brings out, of course, I'm like, yeah, I would like to see whatever, you know, you have. And she brings out all this beautiful bags. I'm trying them on. I'll insert maybe a video or a picture. So. I even have it on my Instagram. And it's, she's just so fun because she makes it so easy. She brings all this stuff and she said, yes, try it on. Try this color. It goes with this. And, you know, you're just comfortable and you're just like a kid in a candy store. It's great. <laughs> anyway, so there was this bag and I said, you know what? Let me look at it. And this is it. Let me open it up. is it let me 
going to try to open it all pretty because maybe I can do another unboxing or I don't know, maybe Instagram or one of those if I'm able to. It's a smaller bag as you can see the size. And this is a true unboxing for you. So bear with me. I'm almost there. I'll just pull it out. They wrap these things up so well. It's just amazing. <laughs> You can see a peak of the color. And not a wrapping. And this is the bag. This is a Chanel Classic Flap. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a classic flap, but in the mini. This is the mini rectangular rectangle end and the color I think it was blue purple and I forgot I'll insert the exact name of the bag and all that but this is the mini rectangle I'm not sure if you've seen one before but it has the back pocket right here it's beautiful it's a beautiful bag do you love it I absolutely love it. I, you know, if you're looking back there, there's some of my bags out there. If you will notice, I hardly have the shade of color or colors. I have a blue bag, but it's like a royal blue, nothing like this. This bag, of course, it came, they, they had the solid colors, white and other colors. But there was another one that looked just like this, almost like a mixed color combination, tie-dye situation, but it had more pinks, yellow, and I really liked that one too, but I just thought I have more pinks and reds and yellows, so I wanted something that was more, that, that combination was more of a warmer combination, I wanted something that was more cooler, like cool tones, and the blue just spoke to me, I just thought I don't have something like that blue i can dress it up i can dress it down more and the, and you know what's funny i had on a lavender shirt at the store i'll put a picture so you can see it just worked with it but it did work with a pink one too but it really just worked with both colors and this is the mini can you see the colors i just thought it was so pretty and this is the interior it's just a very simple, classic style. The interior is just clean. It has a pocket, one pocket right here. A pocket and a zipper, actually, I just realized that. Pocket and a zipper. I have another mini rectangle, but I got that mini rectangle bag, shaped bag, a Chanel one, the red one up there, it's a mini, but I got that pre-loved. So this is my first new mini rectangle so cute i love it the th another thing that i like about it is the strap is long enough for me that i can i can pretty much you know there's something you can buy from amazon or you can just use a hair clip or something and make it let me stand so you can see what i mean so i can make it shorter if i wanted it higher up but if i wanted it um cross body which is how i tend to wear a lot of my bags I'll do this so you can see, get a good idea of how how it sits crossbody. So this is how it sits crossbody. I think it's a good, it hits at a good spot. And I'm about 5'8", so you have an idea of how, how much the drop is. So this is the bag. I really do like it. I love the colors. I think it's just a, it's like watercolors, really pretty. Love it. I, although I got it, I always, I have this thing. It's like I get something and sometimes I'm like, did I make the right decision getting this color? Am I going to reach for it a lot? Should I have gotten a solid 
like lavender color or solid just one solid color as opposed to a mixed combination i just i i don't know you tell me what do you think should i keep this or should i exchange it for like a solid blue or a solid lavender or something like that i just thought this was unique and also it might even be able to give me more colors to wear to play with it you know i can wear it with more lavenders more blues and different shades of blues and just something unique in my closet i usually would not go for something mixed like this but i just thought why not give it a try something different and i was discussing with my essay about this about price increases she said they did not do one this past i think she said they usually do it november's um each november and she said they had not done it this past november but she said that it, it looks like another price increase is around the corner sometime this year i mean at this point we're not surprised at that right <laughs> are you i'm not and this will probably be going up in price which means that i probably have already made money off of it girl math <laughs> at least that's what i'm telling myself so yeah this is if you're wanting to get any of these bags you know at this point get it because the price is going to go up everyone i should let me tell you what happened i had my classic the black one up there well you might not be able to see it in the corner i had the black one on the on a chair and they kept wanting to put it away thinking it was a store the store merchandise and but my essay was laughing and she said how much do you remember what you paid for that and i paid less than maybe around five if not less than that at that time this was only a few years ago and she was like yeah that is about 11 now roughly around 11 she's like it's it's we were just laughing at how much it has gone up so i just keep thinking you know my girls when they're later they're when they're older later on they'll all have this and hopefully you know it will be at better price points then anyway so this is the other item i got so those were my chanel purchases that i got i got a few other items while i was in vegas i'll just show you we stopped by Zara. We don't have a local Zara, and I love Zara, but I like to go try on things there. But you know, it's I'm always I find so much more online in store. I get there, maybe it's just low. I don't know merchandise. I just find that I don't find a lot at the stores. So once again, hubby and I were looking. I didn't see much. I saw this necklace. I think these are trending. The style of necklaces. They're just fun and casual and i got this h m has similar also this is what it, what i liked about this was because it has the chocolate brown color a lot of the times you see see it with black and i like that chocolate brown and i also got just a t-shirt jason my husband was like you love your gold and i said i do <laughs> it's just a simple t-shirt you can dress up or down and another non-luxury item i got i just wanted to squeeze it in here so you could see everything i got another non-luxury item came here <laughs> just making sure my light is okay yes in this bag banana republic my hubby went to get some items for himself and of course i found myself something they were having the 40% off full price items and I just got this linen it's a linen dress it's a simple linen dress I'll insert a photo of how it was styled so cute just simple with just boots knee boots and it just looks so classic I love linen especially with the summer coming it's just airy and light and it's just a good fabric it's lined i'll insert um the dress if you're interested another item i got are these the sunglasses these are called blaze blaze from saint laurent you've probably seen them maybe on social media tv i don't know but they became kind of popular 
I tried these on almost a year ago. I was indecisive about buying them. I didn't want to just impulsively buy. So I was like, you know, I'm going to think about it and see if I do want to get them. And then I tried them on again recently and decided to get them. I just love them. I think there's nothing, I don't have anything like this in my sunglasses collection. So I went for them. They have the all black version like this. And then they have the brown and black. The tortoise i think the one is it's one color here and then another color right here and then they have the all brown so i went with the black all black let me try them on for you so here it is i think they're a little dirty but it's okay i have to wipe them what do you think of them i think i love them i i think they're not subtle I think that they might be a bit too much for some people, but you know, too much is okay sometimes. If you're not into it all the time, sometimes it's okay. The great thing about them though, I think if you have your hair down or hairstyle that's down, you will not even be able to know, like on this side. You just think that they're just big glasses. You don't get to see the logo on the side. But if you have your hair up or some a hairstyle, that shows the side of your face more than that you get to see the logo and it's it's definitely in your face it makes a statement but they're statement glasses and you if you're going to get this you just have to know that you're getting a statement pair of glasses so yes i got these and i absolutely love them i also from saint laurent this the box is so big I don't know if some of you might know what's in here. I tried on different things on Instagram. Also, at Saint Laurent, before getting there, I should tell you what I do because it's what I do every single time. Before getting to the store, if I have an item in mind, I will call there and talk to an essay. Or if I have an essay for the store, I'll reach out to them. If I don't have one, I just talk to someone and inquire about the item. The reason I do this, I do this a week or two before I get there is just sometimes they can hold the item. They'll usually even hold it for you. And I do this just to make sure that the item is there when I get there. I just don't want like, oh, I want this bag and then in this color and they're like, oh, it just sold. Oh, we don't have it. You know, I don't have a Saint Laurent. Excuse me. I don't have a Saint Laurent in my city. So when I am there, I want to be able to try on, you know, whatever I have in mind. So I'll usually call. And if they don't have the item, sometimes the essay will say, oh, but we'll bring it in before you get here. And that's what uh, that's what they did with one of these items. So I got this also. Um, Saint Laurent got some earrings i wanted these i asked about this specifically and he had to make sure that they were at the store when i got there this is the dust bag and let's see how they do their wrapping <laughs> it comes in its earrings came in two little baggies like so And I got these earrings. So these also statement earrings. These are longer than I expected. I expected them to be end like where the S is, smaller. But they're bigger. They're longer. Try them on like this. But I absolutely love them. When, I, when he sent me a photo of them, when I was describing it, they actually looked more gold in the color. And I thought, oh, gold, perfect. I love, you know, I wear a lot more gold. But when I got there, I saw it, I thought, oh, it's not gold. It's more like, you know, that silver color um, with some hints of dark silver, black. So I thought, oh, that's not... I had to think about if I wanted to still get it. And he said that it was this was the color he had sent me all along, but maybe the lighting had made it look kind of goldish. And come to think of it, I don't know if I've seen the gold version. I don't know. But this is the pair. Let me get the other one out. And I really like it. I, I almost bought this on another website, which was really about the same price. But I 
it sold out and then i thought i'll just get it from the store from the store you get it's great because if something happens you know they can probably easily fix it replace it all that stuff for you so i went with the store route so these are the earrings i got i absolutely love them i don't wear a lot of really long earrings but i like it i'll try to wear it more oops the big bag is falling <laughs> And the last item is from Saint Laurent, like I mentioned, and this box is big, so bear with me. Came in this box. If you don't want to carry a huge box like this they offer to ship it for me so flying out they inquire if you're flying out if it's gonna be an issue with flying if it is you want them to ship it they'll ship it to you but I was excited to get it and I thought I'll just take it I don't you know want it to get lost or anything so I got it and you can kind of see the bag turn it around so this is my last item that I got. Put that up. Put this down so I can show you more of this. So this is the takeaway bag. I don't know if you're familiar with the takeaway bag, but this is the takeaway bag. And you see it has the logo and smaller print all over. This is how the bottom looks like and it's it's <laughs> so funny because i don't think jason was feeling the bag very much and you know i this bag grew on me i didn't always love it i have to say i didn't always love it i wasn't always a fan i just thought oh my gosh it's a to go happy meal mcdonald's to go bag box bag as i call it but yeah it grew on me i think it's unique it's not a unique shape. We all know it's a, you know, the shape, what it looks like. But for a bag, no other bag looks like this. It grew on me. Every time I saw it on others, I just liked it. I liked it so much. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. And then I'll decide if to keep it. But I think I'm going to keep it. Although I'm still struggling with this color or the other color, which I'll insert. I tried it on. I tried both. They were both at in the store. I could not decide. The other color is more of a brown gold combination. Right here is gold, yellow gold, and like a brown. It's like a, I don't even like a gold beigey brown tony type color. The other, and I love that it had gold because I love gold hardware more, and I tend to wear it more but that color the logo and that and the bag the color everything just kind of blends in so it doesn't pop out as more someone said made a comment that it actually looks very much like a takeaway like a to-go box box in the other color and the essay and i were just discussing he said if you want more of a subtle the other color is better but if you want it to really pop this silver color and this black combination just pops so much more and even with the outfit I have on, I think it works just fine. I really like it. Let me show you how the interior, it's all leather. It's very sturdy, very, you can tell it's well, well made and it opens just like so. The interior has a pocket, one pocket right there. And it's like a suede fabric. A lot fits in here because I tried a lot in the store. <laughs> I would put stuff in there and a lot fits in here. It takes a good amount. At some point, I might do what fits in the bag. But yes, that's it. It's a simple, just very clean bag. And I like it. So this is the takeaway box bag. If I'm not mistaken, I think the box is in there. Yes, this is what I got. Let me know when I insert the other color. Tell me if you prefer this color or the other color because I'm still kind of going back and forth between both colors. I don't know. I really like this. I have a lot of 
black bags. I like that this is a black and silver. I don't have a dressy or a bag I can dress up that has a black and silver combination. So I thought that's a good thing to have that also, that option. But I'm still going back and forth. Let me know your thoughts. I wanted to show you just this little perfume that I got. It counts as luxury too, right? The Valentino Born in Roma Intense. This is the bottle. It smells so good. It smells so good. I've been wanting it and I got it. It's, I forgot, I think a hundred and something worth it. You have to smell this. It's it's not so strong, but not too soft. You'll, you'll smell it. Like It's not one of those that you're like, oh, I don't want to smell like I have perfume. You're going to smell like you have perfume perfume on, but it smells good. And such a pretty bottle too. So I got this too, and I absolutely love it. Back to this bag. I wanted to let you know the essay, and I were talking about this, and he was saying that it might get a price increase. One of the other bags, they have a tote they have. The one that has the, it's a large tote with the YSL in front of it. It has the leather. It also has the raffia. That one, he said the price increased from about 4600 when it first came out to about 5200 now. I did not know it had had such a significant price increase. But yes, he said that had gone up and this might be going up too, but he was not sure. So just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about the takeaway bag. So here it is. I love it. Still just not sure about the color. Let me know. I think that's everything I got. I hope I have not kept you here way too long, but I enjoy watching unboxing, so I hope you enjoyed mine too. Thank you so much for watching, and please, please, I'm trying to grow this channel. If you enjoy the such videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.